and welcome to Your Great Human Adventure, a series of short videos on YouTube that will help you to have a better human adventure by mastering four superpowers. I'm Dr. Michelle Petacola, founder of Secrets of Life and Death and Second Chance Secrets, giving you the tools to have a more fun, more enjoyable life. Today, we're back with body. In particular, we're talking about the emotions of the body, which are probably some of the most difficult aspects of residing in this human body. Fear. Fear is one of those things that can really mess us up and make us hold back from really experiencing and enjoying our life adventure. Fear is part of our survival system. And so it actually has positive aspects to it. It helps us get out of a situation that might be dangerous, either through anger or through fighting as anger or fleeing. For example, a long time ago, when I was living in New York City with my sister for the summer, she was attacked in the elevator by some creepy guy she was alone in the elevator. However, our mother had always taught us that the better response is to respond with anger rather than fear, because fear will only trigger that predatory response in our attacker. And so she literally lunged at the guy who was trying to assault her and went for his neck. He got so freaked out that he got off on the next floor. I remembered that, and years later, when I was in Indianapolis doing a, a study, my, my master's thesis with a bunch of other uh, members of my class, we were in a kind of seedy hotel in Indianapolis doing a survey. It's my last night. I've had a little to drink with my friends. I get woken up in the middle of the night. I'm a very light sleeper. And there's this guy standing in the doorway. Well, I shouted at him, what are you doing here? Well, he freaked out. He said, oh, I'm waiting for Joe. And he closed the door and ran away. The woman who was sharing the room with me was terrified. Unfortunately, neither of us called the desk uh, uh, to tell them that there was some stranger going around. I, it never even occurred to me to be afraid because it had been instilled in me to fight to be angry rather than to cower in fear. However, fighting is not always the best solution. Sometimes it can get you in trouble. For example, when I get in an argument with my husband, it would probably be better for me to walk away than to respond with anger. Because when you respond with anger, you don't really use the smarter part of your brain. You're kind of responding instinctively. And oftentimes you say things and you maybe accelerate or exacerbate the situation. In that case, learning to step out of the situation, to walk away would be a much better solution for me. There is another way in which fear comes up and gives us a hard time. We are often programmed very early on through trauma experiences as children. So for example, if you are afraid that you're not good enough or perfect enough, those can hold you back from trying new things because you are so concerned about being worthy or acceptable that you don't step up and try out, or maybe you follow everybody else instead of really stepping into your own power, your own unique brilliance. As a child, you would have never learned how to walk if you hadn't tried over and over again to learn how to stand up and accepted that you were gonna fall down. The only way in which we can learn is through experience and practice. But oftentimes the fear will sabotage us, will make us avoid However, we can taking the action that we need to improve, to develop our skills. 
suggestion for today? Step into your fear. Experience it. It's a body experience. Don't bully yourself through, but actually have compassion for this body, the inner child that is afraid of being unloved or imperfect. That's all I have for today. Be brilliant.